Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well out there. One of the biggest questions I've been getting is, what do you think about leasing versus financing a box truck? So if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna break down and crunch the numbers on leasing versus financing a box truck, and you'll be able to understand which works best for you and your business. But before we begin, I have to give a shout out to the best factoring company in the industry, RTS Financial. RTS Financial, they have same day funding at a 97% advance rate. So if you wanna get paid the same day you finish that load, you're only gonna get charged 3%. That's not much at all. You can get paid every single day when finishing your loads. And another great thing about RTS Financial, they have two different fuel cards. If you take a look, you can get save up to 25 cents per gallon. Also, if you have multiple trucks, you can get up to $2,500 per truck per week. That's amazing. At more than 2,000 fuel stations, no annual fees, and then also the great thing about that, you can use this fuel car for tires, maintenance, and a bunch of different other things. As well as that, you can give your driver, each of your drivers, a fuel car so they can pay for your fuel. You can keep all of your hard-earned cash that you have in your pocket. And at the end of the week, use those loads to pay for that fuel. It's just so amazing what RTS Financial is offering. Click that link down below and get signed up with them for your factory as well as take a look at both of their fuel cards and see which one fits best for you and your business. So before investing into the box trucking industry, it's important to identify what are good box trucks to invest in. So one of my subscribers asked me a question on what are my top three recommendations that I have for your box trucks. Number one is going to be a Hino. A Hino is a great truck because it's the Toyota of the box trucking industry. You know Toyotas last a very long time as long as you do the routine maintenance on those trucks. Number two is going to be Ford. If you watch my video on how to start a box trucking business, then you know my partner and I started with an F650, which is a tremendous truck. Number three is going to be Freightliner. Even outside of the box trucking industry, you're going to see a lot of Freightliner semis on the road. And they have great Cummings engines and they last a long time. One thing to stay away from when looking to invest into a box truck is the Max Force engine. Do not, under any circumstance, invest into a Max Force engine. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a headache for you guys. You're going to spend way more money than you're going to make. So stay far away from Max Force engines by any means necessary. We're going to break down financing before we're going to do the leasing. We're going to break down the numbers and I'm going to tell you guys all the requirements requirements and all the gems that you're going to need when looking to finance on a box truck. Number one, credit score. If you haven't been in business for two years, your credit score is going to be relied on heavily. So having a strong credit score is going to give you an advantage. You're going to have a lower interest rate, which is going to save you money in the long run. You're not going to pay as much as someone who has a poor credit score. So having a strong credit score is going to be the biggest thing when you haven't been in business for two years. So outside of your actual credit score is having trade lines. A tray line is a good standing account that you have from a borrower for a long period of time. So meaning a mortgage, um, consumer energy bill, just a bill that you have in good standing that you've been paying for for a good amount of time. So that means paying on time or even paying early. Having good standing tray lines on your credit report is important because it shows you're trustworthy to lend to. So chances are, if you're new to this business, you're going to go more of the private lender route. It's gonna be easier because you don't have those two years of W-2s and then they can just rely on your credit score. So if you do have a good credit score of at least 600 and above, you're gonna be paying a down payment between 10 to 25%. The 10 to 25% is gonna depend on your credit score as well as your trade line and your credit history. If you're someone below a 600 credit score, you're gonna pay a higher interest rate as well as a higher down payment. Someone below a 600 credit score is gonna be looking to pay about 25% as a down payment. So having a strong credit score in this business is going to be to your advantage. So if you're looking to finance a box truck, I will go to topmarketfunding.com. They finance trucks with little to no credit or even good credit. So check those guys out. Do your own due diligence. Find out if that's the company that works best for you and funding your box truck. A lot of you guys have been asking me as well, what is a good website to find box trucks? commercialtrucktrader.com. In this clip, we're going to be looking at commercialtrucktrader.com. We're going to find a truck and we're going to run the numbers on financing that box truck so you guys get an idea of how much it's going to cost you to finance that box truck. So a lot of you guys have been asking me where to buy box trucks. You're going to go to commercialtrucktrader.com. They have a wide variety of trucks that they do sell. So you're going to select category, box truck, 
put a zip code in wherever you are and you can choose mileage, nascent ride, 500 miles, whatever you want to do. Um, hit search. We're going to find a good box truck. Remember that the box truck in business right now, everything is inflated. Everything is super high right now. So let's choose a truck. Like see here, $70,000. I would never pay $70,000 personally for a box truck. That's just me. Uh, if, if you're in the market to pay that much for a box truck, that's entirely up to you. So let's do a Freightliner, it's 57,000. So what we're gonna do is, we know that this is $57,000. We're gonna go over here to our loan calculator. The truck is $57,000. And looking to finance a box truck, the rate terms are gonna be 36, 48, or 60 months typically. We're gonna do 48 months, we're gonna go right in the middle. So we're gonna do four years, interest rate. Your interest rate, if your credit score is at least a 650, is gonna start at 4.9% and it's gonna average up to about 6.9%. So we're gonna go right in the middle of that as well. We're gonna do 5.9%. And then we're gonna do a down payment of 10%. 10% of $57,000 is gonna be $5,700. So we're gonna do $5,700. No rebates, no trade-ins or anything of that nature. And then obviously your state tax, so 6%. So you're going to have a loan amount of $51,300. Your monthly payment is going to be $1,202.43. So when crunching those numbers on that, dividing that into 30, because there's typically 30 days in a month, you're going to be at $40 per day. Example here, we noticed that the payment was $1,202.43 a month. You divide that into 30 and you have $40 a day to finance that box truck. Your fuel is going to be standard no matter if you're financing or leasing your truck. It's still going to be the same. And then your maintenance. So when you're financing a truck, putting money to the side for your maintenance is entirely up to you. You could do $500 a week like it's in this example, or you can charge yourself by the mile, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents. It's entirely up to you. But make sure you put money to the side for maintenance. These trucks are gonna break down. Like I continue to say, it's not a matter of if they break down, it's a matter of when they break down. And then insurance. The insurance is gonna be standard whether you're financing or whether you're leasing. The insurance is still gonna stay the same. So it's about that payment and then about the maintenance. Okay, now that we found out and we crunched the numbers on financing a box truck, now we're gonna break down leasing or renting a box truck. When leasing or renting a box truck, there are four different rental places that you can go through. You have Penske, you have Ryder, you have Budget, as well as Enterprise. Enterprise, we're gonna break down the numbers on Enterprise because I have a friend of mine who went through Enterprise when they rented their box trucking business. So I'll break down the numbers on Enterprise and we'll see if this works for you and your business. Looking at this, leasing a truck through Enterprise, you're gonna be paying about $1,800 a month, $450 a week, and $0.15 cents per mile. You're gonna need a commercial account to do business with them. And then also, put on your negotiating voice. Go in there and negotiate. You may be able to get the $1,800 a month knocked down and the 15 cents per mile, you may be able to get that knocked down. So go in there and negotiate as low as possible. And then the fuel, no matter if you're financing or leasing a box truck, that's gonna be standard. And then the maintenance, you see that that's, that's in green, that's zero dollars. Anytime this truck goes down, they're gonna either repair the truck or they're gonna replace the truck with a new one for you. That is an added benefit for you. And then insurance, the insurance is still gonna be standard, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna need insurance before you come to these companies looking to lease from them. So when renting or leasing a box truck through Enterprise, you can rent or lease from them on a bi-weekly basis or a monthly basis. My suggestion to you is, if you don't have any connections in the box trucking business, you don't have any shippers, you don't have a good dispatcher, or you don't have any connections in this industry, then I would suggest you to go the leasing or rental route to see if this is the business for you. Because you're gonna be looking on the low board, you don't have dedicated freight. So if you're financing a box truck, you're stuck into that box truck for 
three years, four years, whatever your loan term is, you're stuck and you're locked into that contract. So renting or leasing a box truck is gonna cost you a little more upfront, but then you're gonna be able to identify in that two weeks, that month, or that couple months, however long you're renting that box truck, you're gonna be able to identify if this is the business for you. So before you guys go, make sure you smash that like button. Tell everyone who's watching this video, smash that like button. Let's get this video to at least a thousand likes. Let's get this video picked up in the YouTube algorithm to help someone else identify if they rather lease or finance a box truck. As always, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Comment below any business, investing, or personal finance questions or suggestions you guys do have. And as always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much.